6 Things to do when you are unable to connect to PureVPN PureVPN is the world's fastest and the most reliable VPN provider that offers its users complete online privacy and security. In case you are finding it hard to connect PureVPN, this guide will help you out in overcoming this issue. 1. Use correct credentials, login ID and password. First of all, you need to make sure that you are entering your PureVPN credentials correctly. Your member area email and password are not your VPN credentials. Please check your email inbox slash junk slash spam folder. Gmail users must check the promotion tab for the VPN details email. You may also find your account details in my email section in your member area. Below is how to get your VPN credentials. When you sign up with PureVPN, your credentials are sent to you in a separate email. Don't forget to check your inbox slash junk slash spam folder. Also, check your promotion tab if you are a Gmail user. You can also search credentials email by its subject line which is re, pure VPN account details. Note, your member area email and password are not your VPN credentials. Your VPN credentials are different than your member area credentials. Check your email for VPN credentials, and VPN your name looks like, purep 0 xxxx You may also find your account details email in your member area on our website. Please log into the member area and check your account details email for VPN ID and password. 1. Log into the member area. 2. At the right side you can see quick navigation. Click on my email. 3. Here, you will see an email containing your VPN credentials. Pure VPN credentials looks like this. Tip, do not copy slash paste username slash password, instead type your username and password manually. If you are using correct login details and unable to connect using PPTP or L2TP then follow below mentioned steps to troubleshoot. 2. Check protocols. If above mentioned solutions don't work then check if PPTP and L2TP are blocked by your ISP. We'll test one by one for both protocols, even if only one of these is allowed on your network you are good to go. 2.1. Check PPTP protocol, you should open your command prompt by going to start run and type cmd, press enter if using Windows. Open terminal if using Mac slash Linux and type the following command, telnet uk2.purevpn.net. 1723. Press enter and check the result. If it gives a blank screen on Windows, it means PPTP is working on your ISP. On Mac slash Linux it will give you connected. 2.2. Check L2TP protocol, if on Windows or Mac, You'll first need to install a free utility and MAP that can be downloaded slash installed from http colon slash slash nmap.org slash download.html. Open command prompt and type the following command. Map p1701 so p0uk1.purevpn.net. If the output is like, port state service 1701 slash udp open filtered l2tp this means the l2tp port is allowed on your network. If both pptp and l2tp are blocked by your ISP then you may use openvpn or sstp. 3. Use sstp or openvpn. For Windows users, to use SSTP, try the below steps, click on protocol drop down menu and select SSTP then connect. If you prefer using OpenVPN, you may configure OpenVPN on all the devices manually as mentioned in the guides at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash a0 inner. 4. Check if your pure VPN account has become expired. There is a possibility that your pure VPN account is expired and that's why you are unable to connect. Kindly contact their 24-7 live chat support department and get confirmation whether your account is still valid or expired. 5. Check third-party antivirus slash Windows firewall settings. Some third-party slash antivirus slash Windows firewall also block the PPTP and L2TP protocols. This most often happens when you have set your security level higher than normal. Disable third-party slash antivirus slash Windows firewall and try again. If it resolves your issue, allow PPTP, L2TP and IPsec through your third-party antivirus firewall and then you may enable the firewall, s. 6. Check your router settings. If you are connected via a Wi-Fi router then check for PPTP, L2TP and IPsec pass through options under router firewall slash security tab and enable them. If you don't have PPTP, L2TP and IPsec pass through options then disable the router firewall and try again. If it resolves your issue then allow PPTP, L2TP and IPsec through your router firewall and then you may enable the firewall. Please use the comment box for your suggestions, feedback, or if you found another workaround for the problem.